this generation of children, they're never going to know what it's like to feel human, like a natural human. You will be supercharged. Your brain fog will start clearing. Your sleep will start improving. And you'll be able to riff like I just did for 37 minutes straight without one edit. Could you do that right now? People keep saying that to me. How do you riff for 37 minutes, Carrie? You do all these Tuesday videos and you don't edit them. You just talk. Are you reading off a teleprompter? There's no teleprompter here. This is all coming from my carnivore brain. Before doing carnivore, never. I, I definitely don't want to put you on the spot, but if you're interested in participating in any way whatsoever, I'm happy to be on camera, not on camera. But if I can help some way, I'd be happy to. So anyway, so there you go. Easy, easy question. Sure. Uh, Chafee has agreed enthusiastically to be a part of the movie. I don't want to put you on the spot, but if you were interested in participating in any way whatsoever, mm -hmm. it would be a, a huge honor. I think it would really help as well. Oh, a hundred percent. I would, I'd love to. And just as of a couple days ago, Dr. Ken Berry, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I wanted to get it on your radar and see if you'd uh, be interested in being involved in any way whatsoever uh, with the carnivore diet documentary we're putting together. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm 100% in, I can tell you right now, whatever you need me to do, I'm available and open. I'll carry here from Homestead Howe. And I just hit 134 days on carnivore diet. It's truly changed my life forever. And it's brought me out of the matrix. I am no longer in the fog and I can see the fog. And it's just crazy what's going on in the world right now. I, I want to have a megaphone in my hand and just start shouting to people. This is not normal. I, uh, I'm down almost 100 pounds since my heaviest. If you're new to my channel, I'll give you a quick recap. Here's some pictures of me before, and now you can see me today. Uh, again, I'm down almost 100 pounds uh, since my heaviest, and I have overcome so much on carnivore diet so quickly. I stopped snoring immediately after starting carnivore, and that's not just me. Dr. Jordan Peterson has said the same thing, and if you are a loved one snores, it's one of the worst things you can do. People overlook sleeping. Sleeping is so important. I have slept like a baby for 134 days. It's been the best sleep of my entire life. I'm rejuvenated. I'm energized. I'm motivated. I have so much energy when I wake up. It's been amazing. The sleep has been worth the price of admission alone. I had arthritis in my back and elbows and in my foot so bad. Last year, I did nothing for almost 18 months. I went to every doctor I could find to try to fix my foot. I had this horrible pain in my foot. In my foot, they thought it was gout. It wasn't gout. Um, they gave me every medication for gout and threw every pill at me, and it did nothing. And then they just kept upping the dosages, and it never got better. And they were going to do surgery on it. It's 100% better. I don't have any tinge of pain in my foot anymore. It's just life-changing. Absolutely. I was... It felt like a fractured bone. I could barely step down on it before. I've been on every uh, antidepressant SSRI you can imagine uh, over the course of 10 years. I had horrible crippling uh, depression. My anxiety was just through the roof before starting carnivore. I have zero depression, zero anxiety. I know a lot of this sounds like, man, this guy's just hyping this up and making it up. All of these things I'm telling you are 100% the truth. And it's not just me. That's what's crazy. It's not just me. My wife and girls and I, we own our small town movie theater. And I've been having so many carnivores come into the theater. And I love all of you. And please keep coming in and tell me what you're doing. So um, I had uh, Rebecca and her mom come in for the second time. It was awesome. They're just wonderful people. I'm so happy for her. Uh, she's so caring for her mother. And her mom has been doing carnivore. She just hit her 30 days. And she's doing awesome. I'm so happy for her because she's doing so well now, but it's only going to get better. And then uh, last night was crazy. I had another carnivore come in. Uh, his name is Shane. And he. we sold out at Montello Theater last night, by the way. We're playing Sound of Freedom. Everybody needs to see this movie. But we sold out. I had to turn people away. There was a line down the sidewalk. And we, ran, we literally ran out of seats. I was out there with a flashlight trying to move people around to get the last few people in. And this guy came in, Shane, and it was just a huge rush at a huge line. He walks in. He's behind a big group of people waiting in line. And he's like, it's you. It's you, Carrie. It's you. And I'm like, Whoa, who, what? What's going on? And he was so enthusiastic. He, he kind of reminds me of myself. He's just so fired up about carnivore. He, he wanted to take a picture with me. 
which was kind of flattering and it just really surreal to me. I'm like, well, okay, let's do it. Sure. Uh, but it was awesome. And I have a new carnivore friend and he doesn't live too far away. Him and his wife have been doing carnivore for a couple of weeks now. He's just thriving. He's like, Kerry, I saw your 30 day video. I've been sending it to everybody. He's so fired up. I loved it. And uh, he's like, uh, Kerry, my back. My, there's all these people in line and I'm just sitting here chit chatting with him. It was awesome. He's like, Kerry, my back. It doesn't hurt anymore. I was like, you sound like me. My lower back hurt for years. And I just assumed like, oh, you know, this is just something. It's just like uh, I injured myself when I was younger. I, I, I lifted something wrong and bent over. And this is just the way it's going to be from now on. For years, I suffered from lower back pain. Every night I have my, my wife, Jen, I'm like, could you just please rub my back? It's just killing me. Never got better. Zero back pain on carnivore. My, my new friend, Shane, zero back pain on carnivore. He's so hyped up. He's like, I'm jogging now. I'm dropping weight. I got to get a new belt. And he's only a couple of weeks into it. I'm so excited for him and his wife. So many people have changed their life forever eating the proper human diet and overcoming depression and anxiety when nothing else did it for them. Nothing else did it for me. I've shown you guys my pills before. I have a whole huge container of all the pills. I've and it's all gone on carnivore. These are literally all of my pills, antidepressants, sleeping medicine. I was on every SSRI for depression and they were horrible. They turned me into a zombie. I was a functioning human, but I had no emotions. And I was just walking around in a brain fog like a zombie. Uh, no ups, no downs, no nothing. It's no way to live. And uh, that was after months and months of trying to dial in different medications. So I'm so happy for Shane and his wife because she's going to get through it. I, and I just keep hearing these stories over and over again. One of the things I want to talk about today and encourage you guys is look around with your own two eyes. I've been thinking about this more. I made a little, uh, made up a little word for it. Mote, M-O-T-E, my own two eyes. And I want you guys to do this, everybody. And this is whether you're a carnivore or you're thinking about being a carnivore or some of the things that I'm saying, you're like, yeah, this guy's pulling a scam. He's trying to sell something. I'm not trying to sell anything. I, uh, in fact, I'm so excited because I was just thinking about this. We have the movie theater. I was going to do a big meetup at the movie theater. I still want to do that. But why not just do this? Let's just talk about carnivore. Are you suffering? And I'm not charging a penny for it. This is all free. I just want to help people. It's my mission in life now. Um, so many people have said to me, my goodness, Kira, you lost so much weight. That's amazing. What did you do? And I always say to them, yes, the weight is great. It's amazing. Look at all these other things that changed for me that are life-changing. I sleep all night. I have zero depression and anxiety after suffering with it for years and years. All my back pain's gone. I had IBS. This, these aren't just things I'm making up. I was diagnosed with IBS. I can show you guys my medical records. I had acid reflux. IBS is completely gone on carnivore. Acid reflux is completely gone on carnivore. I had all this pain in my elbow and back. All of that's gone. The arthritis in my foot, they wanted to do surgery. I saw three different foot doctors. That's completely gone. I tell people all of this and a lot of people are like, you know what, Carrie? I have many of those problems too. My stomach is always gurgling and bubbling and I, I'm always feeling bloated and I have stomach aches all the time. So many people tell me they have anxiety all the time. I look around with my own two eyes. I am out of the matrix now and I can see so much more clearly. And if you do this, just try it as an exercise. You're not judging people, but I want you to go to the grocery store today. And I want you to just look around and I want you to count the number of people that look sick to you, that don't look like natural humans. And this isn't fat shaming saying, oh, just count all the fat people. But if you're overweight to the point that you've deformed your body, that your stomach is hanging over your belt, that's me. And I'm still losing weight. So I'm shaming myself here, but I deformed my body. Think about that. Look at that with your own two eyes and think about that. You would never see an animal in the wild that's deformed its own body. You wouldn't see a lion in the jungle or a deer out here in the woods behind me. If you saw a deer out here in the woods behind me and it had a huge belly that was basically touching the ground and its hair was falling out and had big bags under its eyes and it was just barely walking because it was so arthritic it couldn't touch the ground and its back was hurting and it was crunched over and all crooked and sickly looking like a little zombie deer, you'd say, my goodness, that poor animal, it's dying. What's wrong with it? I'm so sad for it. Now you go in the grocery store and almost every single person you look at looks the way I just described that animal. Think about that. Use your own two eyes. Mote, M-O-T-E, my own two eyes. 
so much of the stuff we've been told our entire lives is just complete and utter BS. It's lies. It's why. And people say, why? Oh, there's some big conspiracy theory. You're one of those conspiracy theory guys. No, it's very simple. It's business run amok. Look in the grocery store. Now imagine that you couldn't sell sugar. Almost every item in the grocery store would be gone. The milk, the bread, of course, all of the candy and junk food, pasta, spaghetti sauce, even cigarettes have sugar in it. You go into the gas station by me, it's like a drug den. Sugar is an addictive drug. It lights up your brain like cocaine. And people need to start understanding this. Everyone's walking around in a brain fog and they're all anxious and they have uh, depression and anxiety and their stomach's always hurting. They're weak and they're fatigued. They're not even living. They're just barely getting by and it's so sad. This started out as a passion for me talking about this carnivore stuff. Last week was just the craziest week. I had Dr. Ken Berry on my channel. That man has saved so many lives. And uh, I said to him, this started out as a passion. I'm going to do one video about carnivore diet, but it's changed my life so drastically. It's changed my daughter's lives. It's changed my mom, my stepdad, my sister's doing it now. All these people on YouTube and all of them are saying the same things. This is crazy. I was walking around in a brain fog. I'm finally thinking clearly again. I, uh, I'm exercising. I have energy. My back doesn't hurt anymore. My depression's going away. I'm hearing this time and time again. It just happened in the movie theater last night with Shane. It happened the night before with a different carnivore. It happens on my YouTube comments over and over again. Yesterday, I had so many comments and there were there was about 10 of them they were like an essay long and i really appreciate these comments i used to answer everyone i'm trying so hard but i'm just falling behind i open it up and i have to read it and these people they can if if something like this changes your life forever you can't just send me a comment and say carrie this changed my life forever i get it they send me this whole essay and it's amazing i, I read i try to read every single one of them i'm falling behind now that's another story but it's like all of these things changed and it, it takes an essay for them to explain all of the things that changed and they're dumbfounded. They're like, you were right. This is what you said. And this is what happened. I never would have believed it. Everything I thought was true is like the opposite of the truth. It's just absolutely insane. I am on day 134 of carnivore, day 46 of doing lion diet. Do you know what's different for me than 99% of the people that you see in the grocery store right now? I'm a natural human. I'm eating food that humans have eaten since the start of time. It's undisputable. There's people out there that are going to say, oh, no, you're supposed to be vegans. There's absolutely no proof or evidence for that. All the evidence is to the contrary. You can Google it. You can research it. Dr. Chafee and I are doing a video about it tomorrow. I'm sure we'll touch on it again. Since the beginning of time, humans ate meat. That's what we're meant to eat. And we're the only species on the entire planet that eats a bunch of garbage. Now, the deer analogy I gave you earlier, or the lion in the, in the jungle, imagine that we fed that deer a bunch of donuts, deep fried birthday cake, and sugar, and candy, and carbs, and seed oils, and red dye, and all of this junk. What would happen? The deer would get fat, and the deer would get sick. The only animals, uh, only species... We're animals, the only animals on the entire planet that get sick and fat and arthritic and have all of these issues, humans and their pets, the pets that they feed that garbage to as well. It's just insane. You go in the grocery store, it's all sugar. So if you're thinking I'm some conspiracy guy and this is just crazy, use your own two eyes and really think about it. Look around at the grocery store and see, it's like a zombie movie. People are lifeless. They're barely just getting by and functioning. And it's so sad because I know how easy it is. You just have to eat the proper human diet and it'll change your life forever. And it's my mission in life to, to share this example with people. So uh, this is just so my own two eyes things is something I've been thinking about more too. Moat, M-O-T-E. So you have a moat, it's spelled differently, I know, but you have a moat that goes around the castle. Well, think of it like this. Your body is your castle. And a moat around a castle, although spelled differently, is there to protect the castle. It's a defense mechanism. Stop people from breaking into the castle. Well, using your own two eyes, that's a defense mechanism for your body that people need to start doing. Because so much of the information you get is crap. 
all of my life, I used to hear all these studies. Oh, eggs are good for you. Eggs are bad for you. Meat's going to clog your arteries. It's going to kill you. Meat's going to give you a heart attack. And you hear all these studies. And my whole life, I've always thought, geez, it, 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 these studies, they're here for my benefit. I never really thought about it. But now you look into these studies, they're not here for our benefit. All of them, almost all of them are biased. It's millions and millions of dollars to do a study like that. Well, why would someone pay millions of dollars to do a study? Because they have something to sell you at the end of it, whether that's a pharmaceutical drug or they're pushing an agenda. Because do you know what you have to do if you want to sell an incredible amount of sugar? The biggest industry in the world is sugar. Mark my words. You can Google it and they'll say it's technology or it's oil or it's this. It is sugar. Every single person on this earth has to eat and almost every single person on this earth is addicted to sugar and it's in every product. It's not like it's just, oh, I'm going to buy a bag of sugar. No, you go to the grocery store, every single thing has sugar in it. And I'll imagine if you remove sugar from every single one of those things, people wouldn't buy it anymore. People wouldn't buy it anymore. Most of the stuff that people are eating, it's because of the sugar and they're addicted to it. And they haven't admitted to themselves that this is an addictive drug. It's sick. We've normalized it. We get our children hooked on it. And then these children, this next generation of children, as Dr. Baker said when I was on his podcast the other day, and it really hit home to me, this generation of children, they're never going to know what it's like to feel human, like a natural human. Their body is always going to be inflamed, and they're going to have ADHD, and they're going to have these learning disorders, and they're going to be having terrible twos, and they're going to be throwing hissy fits, and they're going to be feeling sick, and then they're going to get up, they're going to do that for a couple of years, and then all of a sudden they're going to start to get the depression, and then you're going to have to throw the SSRIs at them, and it's horrible. And the main cause of it, sugar, and it's not just eating sugar, it's meat being demonized. So many people tell me, oh, if you just would have ate vegetables, you would have had the same results. False. I did that before this. Do you know what's missing from vegetables? Cholesterol. So many problems in this world, sleep, depression, anxiety, immune system issues are from unbalanced hormones. And why is that? And what balances them back out? getting cholesterol, what the human body has consumed since the start of time, meat and fatty meat, and that ups your cholesterol, which has been so demonized, and it can balance out your hormones. And then all of a sudden, that depression goes away. All of a sudden, that anxiety goes away. All of a sudden, you start having the best sleep of your life. But it's been demonized so long, we haven't been doing it. So <sighs> my own two eyes, this whole moat thing, I've been thinking about it so much. When you think about things with your own brain and you're looking with your own two eyes, it's always like the right answer. So I'll give you another quick example. Uh, I eat a lot of grass-fed meat from my neighbors and their cows are grazing in the fields all the time. And I am told online and by people when I'm eating meat and the mainstream media, beef, that's going to kill the earth. That's so bad for the environment. You're eating meat. That's terrible. That's not sustainable. That's horrible. Okay, well, I'm going to go over there with my own two eyes. I do it every day. I drive past these fields. Acres and acres of green grass, grass that is growing naturally. Notice the words I keep saying. I use the word natural a lot. That's for a reason. The grass is growing naturally. The cows graze through the grass and they eat it throughout the day. When this field starts going down because they ate too much grass, the farmer, my good friend and neighbor, he moves the cows to the next field. They eat that grass. Then the other grass naturally grows again. They're not turning the soil over and pumping, putting chemicals and everything in there. How is this possibly bad for the environment? These are cows in their natural habitat, regenerative farming, eating the grass, fertilizing the grass so more of it can grow naturally. One of those cows lives a great life, dies a humane death, and I get 400 meals from it. I don't know. What's more natural than that? Now, look at the alternative that they're telling me to do and the mainstream media is telling me to do. That's unnatural, what I just described to you, per them, per those propaganda. Well, what would natural be then? Let's just say I wanted to eat some cauliflower or something. I'm a homesteader. I've been doing it for years. One of the biggest things we struggled with was our garden. Year, we have sandy soil here, but it's also just the soil. There's hardly any soil left. Dr. Chafee was talking about this. The, the soil, it's turned into dust. It's going to be like the dust bowl all over again. I want to go grow some cauliflower. Let's say I want to go grow some cauliflower right now. I'm going to have to turn the soil over. I'm going to have to put all sorts of chemicals and fertilizer in it. I'm going to have to put the seeds in it, water it all the time, 
Hopefully there's enough nutrition left in the soil. There's probably not. So I'm going to have to amend it. I'm going to have to pull some stuff in. I'm going to have to ship some stuff in and put it in the soil to amend the soil, check the pH level, all that stuff. And then what? Bugs are going to eat it. So I'll have to spray a bunch of harmful chemicals and pesticides on it. That's natural. That's better. That's the alternative. And then what happens? I know I've talked about this before, but there's a lot of new people here. 67 million birds die per year per the EPA. Google this yourself. Don't take my word for it from pesticide poisoning on vegetables. That's natural. That's natural. And then those vegetables that you end up eating, all those birds die. And then by the way, that doesn't count the billions of insects that are killed or the entire ecosystems that are wiped out. There's fox, there's deer, there's squirrels, there's all sorts of animals that end up eating those pesticides and then dying. Entire ecosystems are destroyed, but that's the most natural way to do it. Also that we can eat some cauliflower. Now look at the nutritional value of some cauliflower versus a piece of meat. You can't even argue with me on that. Meat is one of the most nutritionally dense things you can eat. You can go buy a bag of spinach. And if you look at the price of per pound of spinach versus meat, it's not even close. You're paying incredibly more money for spinach. And what's the nutritional value? Uh, Jen was saying the other day, she had a craving for a salad. I was like, just imagine, what are you craving? The cheese and the salad dressing. It's got all the garbage and the seed oils and stuff on it all of the little vegetables and croutons and bread that's on it? Or are you actually craving a little tiny piece of lettuce? Now think about the nutritional value in that little piece of lettuce. What is there, four calories in that thing? What is even in a piece of lettuce? There's like nothing in it that does anything for your body. One little piece of lettuce. Now imagine what remnants of uh, pesticides are left on there. Sure, you wash it all off, but I mean, what's ingrained in there? It's been in there. I'm sure you're getting some of it or if you don't do a good enough job cleaning it all off. Does that offset the three calories you're getting off of the stupid little piece of lettuce? It's just insane. That's supposed to be natural. So this is what I do from now on. I use my own two eyes. I can see with my own two eyes, these cows grazing naturally in a field. It's the most natural thing in the world. I can see with my own two eyes, my results. They're telling me I'm supposed to be eating vegetables and having a balanced diet. Every time I've done that in the past, my arthritis came back. My inflammation came back. My back started hurting. My brain fog came back. I have none of that. I feel amazing. With my own two eyes, I'm doing what my body is telling me is absolutely the best thing I've ever done my entire life. And with my own two eyes, the other things I'm seeing is, like I said earlier, when you look around in the grocery store, these things have slowly happened and it's become normal. But I want you guys to all do this thing. Just look around. How many people are unhealthy, sickly, look like a zombie walking around in a brain fog? That is not normal. Just because it's happened slowly and gradually 20 years ago, if you walked in the grocery store right now and it's 20 years ago, and then you went in again, you'd be like, oh, wow, that would be noticeable to you. But it's not because it slowly happened. Everyone's riding around in mobility scooters. Barely can, people can barely hold their own weight up anymore. It's insane. And, and it's not just the weight either. It's the brain fog and it's the depression. It's the anxiety. It's the arthritis. It's all of the aches and pains and ailments. And everyone just says, oh, it's just the way it is. I've mentioned uh, a family member of mine who has skin coming off his arm. I'm like, you think that's just normal? Oh, I went to the doctor. That's just the way it is. You know, some people, that just happens. I've never seen a deer that's just had that happen or a lion in the wild or a, another species of animal. You know who else I've never seen have these issues? A baby. Do you know a baby is born into ketosis? And then what happens? Now, this is before we start getting the baby addicted to sugar and junk food. A baby eats natural food. Have you ever seen a baby that has a big patch of skin missing from its arm or that uh, stops sleeping 400 times in the night? That was me, by the way. I used to have a CPAP machine. My breathing would stop 400 times during the night. My sugar addiction and inflammation from eating seed oils and sugar and not eating the proper human diet literally caused me to have to buy a device, an apparatus that I would strap to my face, tie around my head as tight as I could and push air into my uh, breathing way because the inflammation was so bad, it would clog my throat up and 400 times per night, all of that so I could have some donuts and some sugar and some junk food. And now I'm saying that on the extreme. Actually, when I was on keto and I was eating pretty darn clean, I was just eating vegetables and salad and a little bit of protein. I still had all that inflammation from the vegetables, from the seed oils, from what, I don't know. Just insane. Now, think about how many people out there are having breathing problems. I've seen it. I witnessed it. I did a video with my wife, Jen. As soon as she went on carnivore, she was snoring like crazy. I used to snore all the time too. I went on carnivore. I stopped snoring. 
she stopped snoring the like the second day she was on carnivore she was at like 80 percent. i actually videoed her i did a video on this and every day it was just it was the most beautiful thing to see uh day three on carnivore she was down to like 60 percent. day five on carnivore she was down to snoring like 40 percent. and it was around day six or seven done no more snoring no more snoring no more gasping for air and nearly dying at night, tossing and turning all night. And everybody does it. It's just inflammation. The sleep doctor I went to that prescribed the uh, CPAP machine to me, he failed me. He never mentioned inflammation to me. He never said, Carrie, your body's full of inflammation. And that's the root cause of most snoring. If you get rid of that inflammation, you might not need a CPAP machine. He told me I was way overweight and I needed to lose weight. And in my mind, I thought I was snoring because my neck was so fat, my body was so fat, and this was going to take a couple months. No, took me a couple days, took Jen a week, took the great Dr. Jordan Peterson. He did his testimony on Joe Rogan. Within the first week, I stopped snoring. That's a, a direct quote from Dr. Jordan Peterson. So many other people have said the same thing. Completely life-changing. So things are just going amazing on carnivore diet. I'm meeting so many people. And uh, this last week has just been life-changing. I interviewed Dr. Ken Berry. I just think it's important because all of these doctors, these are all different doctors that prescribed these to me. They all failed me. And I don't blame them personally. I blame the system and everything else, but they all failed me. And uh, we, we need more doctors like you and Dr. Chafee and Dr. Baker telling, telling the truth. Man has almost 3 million subscribers. He saved so many lives talking about doing the proper human diet. And then the next day after interviewing Dr. Ken Berry, I was on Dr. Baker's podcast. It was filmed a couple of weeks ago, but they published it the day after that. This current generation of children, none of them know what it's like to be healthy. And then everything that happened with my friend, Bill, Bill from Alaska. If you guys don't know this story, it's astounding. 700 pounds, hasn't left his house in four years. It's just been a long time. And the thought of being able to go outside again is... I finally reached him and I finally tracked him down after he left me this heartfelt comment on my YouTube channel. And um, he started a carnivore diet. He didn't have the money because he lives in Alaska. He hasn't been able to leave his house. Didn't have the money to buy proper meat. I said, we're going to get you. The carnivore community is amazing and compassionate. And it was the biggest understatement on my part. He set up a GoFundMe and a YouTube channel. He did his first YouTube video. I helped him launch it. Our goal was to get him to 1,000 subscribers. I said, Bill, this is going to take months. We want to get him monetized so he can support himself. I said, this is going to take months to get you to 1,000 subscribers, but I'm here for you. We're going to do it. Within three days, I think he's right around 5,000 subscribers right now, and he hit his 4,000 watch hours. The man is already monetized. Just puts a huge smile on my face. And then not, the GoFundMe thing has just been absolutely insane. We hoped to raise $1,200 so he could buy a portion of cow so he could start carnivore diet. And so I said I said to him, Bill, I was like, set your GoFundMe thing at $2,500. Just double it. It's going to take months to get there, but whatever. People are generous. We'll maybe get a couple hundred dollars here earlier. Within three days, his goal in our heads was $1,200. 10x. 10x. And it's even more than that now. I think, it's, I think it exceeded $13,000. $13,000 last night. This all happened within like three days. Bill has enough money now. It's going to take him a couple of years. He's 700 pounds. He has an, enough money now to cover him and that meat for his whole journey and then some. Just amazing. If uh, you guys aren't familiar with this, I just got to do a quick mention. Carnivore diet movie. My mission in life, it started out as a passion and now it's a responsibility. It's my goal. It's my purpose. Purpose is so important carnivoredietmovie.com. Bill is 700 pounds. He said he's going to be dead if he doesn't do this. He decided to do it. There's so many other bills out there that are hopeless and they're almost dead like myself. And that's not just obesity. That's depression, anxiety. That's autoimmune disorders, uh, type two diabetes. Uh, there's so many issues that people are suffering from needlessly. And so I'm putting together, I'm, it's, it's a crowdfunded effort. I'm putting a whole bunch of my own money into it carnivoredietmovie.com. Dr. Baker has agreed to be on. I, I definitely don't want to put you on the spot, but if you're interested in participating in any way whatsoever, I'm happy to be on camera, not on camera. But if I can help some way, I'd be happy to. So anyway, 
So there you go. Easy, easy question. Mr. Chafee has agreed enthusiastically to be a part of the movie. I don't want to put you on the spot, but if you were interested in participating in any way whatsoever, mm -hmm. it would be a, a huge honor. I think it would really help as well. Oh, a hundred percent. I would, I'd love to. And just as of a couple days ago, Dr. Ken Berry, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I wanted to get it on your radar and see if you'd uh, be interested in being involved in any way whatsoever uh, with the carnivore diet documentary we're putting together. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm 100% in, I can tell you right now, whatever you need me to do, I'm available and open. I'll we're going to follow real people around for one year doing the carnivore diet with all of those ailments and issues I mentioned. And uh, I'm not going to be able to do it without the funding. I hate asking for money, but it's I'm not taking a penny of it. I'm putting thousands of dollars of my own in there. And here's the big thing. I want to go and fly out to Alaska. And technically, I need like a whole crew to do this properly. We want to have this done on Netflix and do it properly. We've already raised enough funds to buy the Netflix approved camera. That's done. Thank you guys so much. Then when Dr. Barry was on, we raised enough funds that day to get the lighting. Then I needed a computer to edit this um, cinema quality footage. It's such high resolution. It was bogging down my own computer. This computer I'm on right now purchased all of it with my own money. It was like $2,400. I'm, 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 I'm totally invested in all this, but we need more funds so that I can start interviewing people. And Bill should be the first one. His story, his stepping on the scale for the first time on camera, on the Netflix approved camera, recording that story. And then imagine... After four years, the man hasn't left his house. Imagine in the documentary showing Bill stepping outside into the beautiful Alaskan wilderness for the first time. So I'm really, I'm going to, I'm making my decision here in the next few days. Um, I'm going to probably have to take a bunch of money out of my pocket. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to go with this, but I want to get on a plane ride with Emma. My daughter, Emma is also a carnivore and she's helped me film 600 YouTube videos. I need, I can't just do it all by myself because I'm going to have to interview Bill and talk to him and Emma can monitor the audio and help with stuff. So Emma and I may very well be traveling to Alaska soon uh, to capture Bill's story and share it. So if anyone out there wants to help with this, I so appreciate it. It's not for me. It's for all the Bills out there. We're going to change the world with this documentary. People need to know it's not normal that everybody is sick and everybody is suffering and they're not living. They're not living. What quality of life is that? I'm seeing it time and time again, and I, I, I'm not, I don't know how else to, I don't know how else to get the word out. It's so sad when you go to the grocery store or you see friends and family, and they're just a shell of a human being. And we're going to change that with the Carnivore Diet Movie. So if you want to donate, just visit www.carnivoredietmovie.com. There's a little GoFundMe link. If you can leave ten bucks, anything, it will help so much. And if you leave me a super chat, every penny from that goes to the Carnivore Diet documentary. And uh, if you join my channel, there's always a little join button below every one of my videos. You can pay like two or three bucks a month. It's just a little bit. We give you insider information, like what's going on with the carnivore diet movie where we're filming. Uh, we give you stuff before other people do. If you comment, I'll answer your comments first. If you're a member of the channel, every penny we get from that goes to the movie as well. So uh, please help us support that because I want to get, I want to go, I want to go. Like it's going to happen no matter what, but it's going to take years at this rate of fundraising. I just, I need a big push to get it going some more. So, and everyone that's donated, I appreciate it so much. I'm sorry that you have to listen to this again. If you, if you're already tapped out, I totally get it. And if you can't donate, please just share a carnivore diet movie with people. Uh, that would help immensely share it, uh, get people pumped up. And if you know people that are suffering, have them watch our videos. Have them watch Dr. Barry's videos, Dr. Chafee's videos. My 30-day carnivore update. So many people have watched that video and then it led them down the rabbit hole to do more research and start carnivore diet. So encourage them to watch some of these videos and uh, we're going we're gonna to change the world with this. So my own two eyes, I really encourage everyone to do that. I feel like I'm out of the matrix now for the first time. When you're in the fog, you can't see it. Now that I'm out of it, I'm like, this is just crazy, the world we're living in. Um, and for those of you that think I, I got, I started talking about this earlier that I'm some sort of conspiracy theorist, like, oh yeah, there's just some big conspiracy to get us all to eat sugar. It's the biggest industry in the world. Why would they not spend millions of dollars to tell you breakfast is the most important meal of the day? You used to think that was true. And I did too. That's a way to get you addicted to sugar and a way to get you away from meat. And that was all sponsored by the cereal companies. Big shocker. Not really. That's just one example. And then there's a million more of these studies. You see that, oh, meat's going to clog your arteries. You look in the root sources of all these. Well, how do you sell a ton of sugar? Demonize meat. That's all you have to do. You get children addicted to sugar at a young age, just like they used to do with cigarettes. 
you get them addicted to it. You, you give them um, Saturday morning commercials that are just filled with cereal and popsicles and garbage and candy, and they get addicted at a young age. And then if you really want to step it up another level, you demonize meat. When they get older and those kids start getting miserable and feeling horrible and they're trying to they're trying to get away from the sugar a little bit more, oh, maybe I should eat a little bit more meat. No. Then how you get them is you demonize the meat and you sponsor million dollar studies that are just completely a joke too, by the way, when you look into those. Uh, the, one of the biggest ones was um, they do these, these correlation studies where they ask a bunch of people, oh, do you eat a lot of meat? A lot of people say, yeah, I eat a lot of meat. And then those people have heart disease. So they're like, oh, you eat a lot of meat. You have heart disease. Meat causes heart disease. And it's so foolish. I, I, I've talked about this before, so I'll mention it real quick. But what, what is the most, eat, that, uh, most meat that people eat? McDonald's, a hamburger. Think about that. You go to McDonald's. What do you eat? You get this little tiny puck. It's like this big. It's like this thin. It's a little tiny piece of meat. And then you have this huge carby bun that's got sugar in it. You got cheese that's got ingredients in it. You don't know what it is. The ketchup, the ketchup they put on those burgers, it is literally illegal in other countries. They don't sell it because it has the red dyes and the seed oils and garbage in it that causes cancer. But in America, they're like, eh, it's fine. Just give it to them. You can look that up too. That ketchup, I believe the ketchup that's sold in America, they're not allowed to sell that in Canada and parts of Europe because they don't want to they don't want to do that to their people. Then you have the huge thing of French fries. You have a half a gallon of Coke. You have your big ice cream afterwards or your McFlurry. All of that stuff is fine. It's that little tiny hamburger. My own two eyes. You look at that McDonald's meal with your own two eyes and you think that the burger is what's getting you. It's not the pound of French fries and the gallon of uh, Coke you're drinking and the sugar that's in the bun and the sugar that's in the ketchup and all the ice cream and all the crap you're eating with it. My own two eyes. That's what you have to do. Look with your own two eyes. I'm so excited for people that are jumping on the carnivore. Uh, thank you so much for all of your positive comments. Thank you for everyone that's donated to the carnivore diet movie. Thank you so much for what everyone did for Bill. It's just amazing. His next video is coming out any, any time now. And uh, I told him just everyone be patient with Bill, please, because he's gone from zero to 100 miles per hour, sitting in a bed for four years to all of a sudden just this crazy flurry, thousands of comments, all of them so great. Uh, he, was, he was like, I want to put a little heart next to everyone. I want to answer every single one. I was like, you're not going to be able to, Bill. There's thousands of comments. And frankly... People would rather you focus 100% on yourself and what you have control of. Um, so he's been doing carnivore and he's been doing a good job so far. Uh, they, people would rather, Bill, see you just do your next video, focus your effort on that versus all of the comments. But I, I know what you're saying because I've been there and I do the same thing myself. But I think we're going to wrap it up right there. If you're thinking about doing carnivore diet, ask yourself why. Use your own two eyes. Should you have all these issues and ailments? How come a baby doesn't have those issues and ailments? How come a deer in the wild doesn't have all those issues and ailments? Do your research. Watch my 30-day video. And then it's so easy. There's this, this information is priceless that Dr. Chafee's putting out, that Dr. Barry's putting out. It's priceless. Google it. Just say carnivore diet mistakes, carnivore diet 101. Any concern you have, you're concerned about fiber, carnivore diet and fiber. Dr. Chafee, Dr. Barry, there's free videos on it that explain all of it. I tr just trust me on this. Almost anything that you have, and it's a valid concern. Carnivore is insane. I never thought I would have started it. All of your valid concerns, you'll watch one of these videos and you'll do your research and you'll be like, oh my goodness, that was my thought on that was so wrong. And it's just common sense what the truth is. The truth is out there. It's so easy to find and it's so free, but you have to know your why. Why are you starting carnivore? And then you have to know your concerns and then you have to do your research to overcome those concerns and then you can start. And it's once you get going and you get over that sugar addiction and your body starts burning fat for fuel, you will be supercharged. Your brain fog will start clearing. Your sleep will start improving and you'll be able to riff like I just did for 37 minutes straight without one edit. Could you do that right now? People keep saying that to me. How do you riff for 37 minutes, Kira? You do all these Tuesday videos and you don't edit them. You just talk. Are you reading off a teleprompter? There's no teleprompter here. This is all coming from my carnivore brain. Before doing carnivore, never. 
Never would have happened. I would have been stuttering and stammering and, and searching for my words. Never. People also say, Carrie, you're so enthusiastic and inspirational on carnivore. Never before carnivore. It's all carnivore. 